okay so we have the uh, electric field intensity yeah now we know that you could rewrite this wave I mean in general let's let's start in general with the most basic uh, harmonic wave equation yeah you could start by saying e is uh, just e zero the amplitude right cosine omega t minus kx okay now what you could do we know that omega is equal to 2 pi times the frequency omega is the angular frequency so you could replace uh, omega was with 2 pi f t right minus and we know that uh, the propagation number k is equal to 2 pi over lambda so this is minus 2 pi over lambda x so I replaced k with 2 pi over lambda and omega with 2 pi f now what I could do I could factor out 2 pi f so e0 cosine 2 pi f and then I would get t minus 2 pi is factored out so this becomes 1 over f lambda times x right um, okay great and uh, what is f lambda uh, this is per second this is meters this is the velocity of the wave so then we will get e to equal e0 cosine yeah uh, Two pi f uh, into t minus uh, this becomes x over the velocity, right? Okay, well, let's compare and contrast that with what we have here. Uh, cosine two pi. Let's put a bracket here. So, okay, the frequency of the light. What's multiplying t? You have uh, yeah. so for part A, for part A, uh, the uh, cosine pi is just. Uh, pi 10 to the 15 so we have 10 to the 15 right times pi equals uh, 2 pi times the frequency basically this guy here has to equal this guy here because you have to understand the bracket here is right here I mean I know they're not clear on that but the bracket the bracket there is right there so so this becomes uh, 2 pi f and so then you get uh, the frequency to be 1 times 10 to the 15 hertz how are we doing on that <clears throat> Makes sense. Can it be can it be um, one half times ten to the fifteen because there's the, the period is two pi over 
Oh wait, I forgot to divide by two. Yeah, yeah, yeah one half. So this is uh, zero point five. I wrote it. I just forgot to divide by. So it's basically five times ten to the fourteen. So five times ten to the fourteen. But I showed you like how to go from one equation to the next to the next on the pack. Okay, and then the wavelength now is straightforward. Yeah, I kind of showed the dependencies there. Yeah. Um, so I'll let you try the wavelength and the index of refractor. So B should be straightforward. I have uh, the wavelength. Uh, I know that if I multiply uh, per second, which is the frequency, times the w meters, which is the wavelength, I'm supposed to get the speed of the wave, uh, which is, um, uh, or, or I should say V, which is meters per second, because this wave doesn't seem to be traveling at the speed of light. <laughs> Um, and so from the above equation if I compare this I know that my V is the point 65 C and so uh, V is equal to 0 0.65 C I just found the frequency so the wavelength will be V over F so this is 0 0.65 times 3 times 10 to the 8 meters over second divided by the frequency which is 5 10 to the 14th 1 over second cross out the second with the second and we get the wavelength to be in meters of course um, doing this on the calculator We get 3.9 times 10 to the minus 7 meters so this is our wavelength and then uh, the third part is what's the index of refraction of the glass uh, that also seems to be quite straightforward uh, we know that uh, the index of refraction would be the ratio of the speed of light to the speed of the wave. We will talk about that more in depth in later chapters. So this is 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by, it's, it's sort of how much light slows down or a wave slows down as it enters a medium other than vacuum. Uh, 3, the speed of the wave is 0 0.65. Uh, times 3 times 10 to the 8 so it's just basically or or easier I could have wrote uh, just so for uh, a brevity C over 0 0.65 C can cross out the C with the C so it's just 1 over 0 0.65 1.54 which is close it's about 1.5 the index of refraction of glass that concludes this question is there anything else asked for no